Upper Mustang, and the long forbidden kingdom of Lo. Follow us on our motorcycle adventure to one of the most unique and beautiful locations in the country. Our journey to Upper Mustang begins with a motorcycle ride from the town of Pokhara. Currently it is 7 in the morning and it is a beautiful morning with a clear blue sky. A perfect day to begin our motorcycle adventure. destination for today is a small town of Jomsom, which lies to the north of Pokhara in the Mustang district and is the main gateway to Upper Mustang. Driving for almost 5 hours and a total of 160 km up the mountain pass and through the canyon, we have now arrived at the town of Jomsom, which lies at an elevation of 2740 meters. Jomsom, we decided to stay at Hotel Moks Mustang, which is nestled within the majestic Himalayas and looks like a perfect place to start our adventure in Mustang. Oh. 
Oh, wow. Amazing. <laughs> the hotel provided us with a luxurious room with a breathtaking view of Mount Nilgiri and the town of Jomsom down below. Amazing. We are having an amazing time at the hotel. The warm and inviting Moksumustan is a hidden gem in the undulations of the Himalayas. Good morning from Jomsom, day two of our adventure and today after having our breakfast we are heading up to the sacred temple of Muktinath and exploring the surrounding Jomsom region. Oh. <laughs>
After a leisurely drive up the mountains, we arrive at the valley of Muktinath. From here, we are heading up to the temple on foot. The temple of Muktinath, located at the foot of Torangla mountain pass at an altitude of 3,750 meters, is one of the world's highest temple, which is sacred to both Hindus and Buddhists. After exploring the Muktinath temple complex and many ancient Buddhist monasteries, we headed down to the small town of Muktinath region to have our lunch. Oh wow! Huh? So, boss, you are boss. Tumba Lake, situated at an elevation of 2,830 meters, is located 5.5 kilometers west of Jomsom, near the village of Tini. The pristine lake of Tumba lies on the lap of Nilgiri Mountain, with a splendid view of the surrounding mountains. The lake is a perfect place to relax and take in the beauty of the surrounding landscape. After a relaxing time at the lake, we headed uphill towards an ancient Buddhist monastery, which is one of the most famous and beautiful gompa in the region, with a panoramic view of the valley of Jomsom. The valley looks pristine with unique culture, traditions, and an incredible natural beauty. We had an amazing time at Jomsom.
day three of our motorcycle adventure and it is an exciting one as we are heading up the mountain towards the long forbidden kingdom of Lomantang. The river down below is Kali Gandaki River, which is one of the major rivers in Nepal. It flows down a gorge separating two major peaks of Taulagiri and Annapurna. Heading up the mountain road, the landscape is rugged, arid and dry, with colorful rock formations containing many cave dwellings high up in the cliffs. Upper Mustang is located north of Annapurna, residing in the rain shadow of Taulagiri and at an average altitude of 4,000 meters is geologically and culturally part of the Tibetan Plateau.
the remote high mountain road to Upper Mustang is breathtaking, offering a mesmerizing view of unique Himalayan landscape. Truly a unique experience. Driving through ancient villages, through desolate desert landscape, or in other words, Mars-like landscape, towards Lomantang through the rocky mountain road takes the feeling of adventure to a whole new level. After five hours of exhilarating journey through unique mountain landscape, we have arrived at Lomantang, the walled-in, well-preserved capital of Upper Mustang's ancient kingdom. At Lomantang, we are staying at Mystic Mustang Guest House, which provided us with a warm and a cozy room overlooking the ancient city of Lomantang. <laughs> After having our lunch, we headed out to wander around the streets of Lomantang to explore the monasteries, chortens, and spend some time with the natives of the area. The mystical kingdom of Lo, or Upper Mustang, the last example of living Tibetan culture in Nepal, used to be a part of Tibetan Empire and is therefore closely related to Tibet. Tibetan Buddhism is still being practiced in a very pure form and villages are built in Tibetan style even today. Lomantang is a medieval town surrounded by huge town wall Entering Lomantang leads into a different world. In Lomantang, we came across the Palace of the King, a huge four-story high building at the very center of the city complex.
as we walked past money wheels and an impressive row of chartens, the street turned into a maze of narrow alleys which led through a labyrinth of closely built whitewashed mud houses still bearing antiquated windows, doors and crude stones for staircases built on the exterior. Watching life go by in the streets, everything seemed so laid back as if everyone had all the time in the world. Woman basked in the sun, chatting and spunning yak wool, gave us a true feeling of an ancient old town vibe. The Lomantang region is dry, desolate and windy and is a paradise like no other on the earth with unique culture and beautiful landscape. We had an amazing experience exploring the unique ancient town of Lomantang. Truly a mesmerizing experience. Day 4 of our motorcycle adventure and today we are heading out to explore the ancient and mysterious Zhong Cave in Chosar, Upper Mustang. After driving up the mountain from Lomantang for approximately half an hour, we have now raised Chong Cave in Chosar, Upper Mustang. The Chong Cave in Upper Mustang is ancient man-made cave about five story high, built right into the cliff face. We enter the cave by climbing up a concrete staircase, which leads up to a steep ladder up the cave. Inside the cave, there are many ladders to go up and down the floor, from one floor to another. Also known as sky caves, these caves harbor secrets from the distant past. Explorations by National Geographic revealed remnants of human skulls and bones 
animal remains and artifacts of earlier Bon culture, which preceded Buddhism in these parts. Wow. As we explore the cave, questions like who built those caves, how and why baffle us without any plausible explanations shrouded in deep mystery. From the window of Zhong Cave, we can see the stunning landscape of Chosa Valley. After exploring the ancient and mysterious caves in the Chosar Valley, we are now heading up towards the Nepal-China border of Korala. Welcome to Korala. Yay. Yay. So currently we are at the Nepal China border at Korala. And uh, here we have the border situated at an uh, altitude of 4,300 meters. And uh, an interesting thing here is that the current time as you can see on my watch is 12 so it's showing china time whereas the actual time nepal time is 9:47 yeah we are in borderland our motorcycle adventure took us all the way from pokhara at 800 meters all the way up to Korala border, a mountain pass between Tibet and Upper Mustang, situated at an altitude of 4,660 meters. We had a fun field and an exciting adventure, driving our motorcycle through some of the most unique and challenging landscapes in the country, through forest and villages, all the way up to the Tibetan plateau, which Mars-like landscape offering stunning views of the valley, spectacular mountain vistas, and connecting with an ethnic cultural group of remote Nepal. With that being said, thank you for watching and Namaste.